Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about virtual amps again. Uh, both VM and virtual amp have this option. And we're going to be talking about system site packages and what that means. So let's jump into it. Okay, so virtual amp by default runs in a mode where it is entirely isolated from your system Python, which is good. This means that when you install packages into it, you don't you know, run the risk of conflicting with your system or like end up in weird states where you don't have new enough packages or stuff like that. Okay, it's very good about isolating stuff. However, you can also use this option that I'm gonna show you today to use the system installed Python packages. Um, I find that you should probably never do this, but it is useful to know about it. So I'm gonna tell you about it anyway. Uh, and this option is present in both VMV as well as virtual uh, So to start, I'm gonna show you it with VMV. Um, which you use by doing Python 3-mvmv and then whatever virtual env folder. And we're gonna pass system site packages as an option here. So what this is going to do is going to create us a virtual env, which we can activate. And this virtual env is special compared to a normal virtual env. So let's do Python 3-mvmv, we have normal. In that, if we activate, if we look at the packages that are available here, and we can do that by doing pip freeze, you'll see that we get a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, whereas if we do pip freeze over here, we should get nothing. Um, because pip freeze by default excludes pip, setup tools, wheel, etc. You can see we got all sorts of stuff um, installed, and these are the list of packages that are available at my system level. So if I'm outside of the virtual environment and I do import click, for example, um, that's one of the packages that happens to be installed by Debian on my computer. Uh, but all of those packages are available in here. So if we do Python and we do import click, you'll see that click comes from outside my virtual environment. And this can be useful sometimes if you're, you know, if you already have stuff installed, and you don't want to install a bunch of other stuff or you trust your system installer more than PyPI. I don't know why you would do that, but it may be a case that you end up in. Um, but you might also want to know what stuff is in your virtual env versus externally. Like if I do a pip install ast pretty here and I do pip freeze again, you'll see that it's still going to list everything. And I don't really know that this one happens to be in my virtual env and this one is outside. Uh, but fortunately, pip freeze has a dash l option. And this dash l option, I believe it's dash dash local. Uh, it will only show the stuff that's in your current virtual environment and not everything external to that. Uh, in addition to that, you may want to install packages in your virtual environment that are the same as your system packages, but at different versions. For example, this PyTZ version is pretty old. And if I run pip install PyTZ, uh, it'll say, you know, already satisfied. If we do upgrade, um, it will error. Oh, maybe it didn't error. Okay, this is new. It used to error and used to tell you to do uh, ignore installed, uh, which would ignore your system installed version. It looks like now it just um, refuses to uninstall the existing version and um, just continues on as normal. So you can see it installed 2021.1. Um, and now if I do pip freeze, you should see uh, that we've upgraded PyTZ to this new version. And again, pip freeze dash L to just show the versions in this particular virtual environment. So that's system site packages. I don't recommend using it. I recommend making your own isolated virtual environments for each project you're working on and not to deal with the global state at all, um, especially because the system may be shifting sands, like you may you know, depend on a particular functionality and then your system comes along and changes that out from under you. Like, uh, you're also subject to whatever your packager decides to patch it, patch those particular libraries. And uh, you know this, the PyPI versions are gonna be a, a bit more reliable as to reproducing bugs and reporting stuff upstream. But anyway, that's system site packages. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.